Hi guys, uh, Cat Cole here again. Um, another how-to video, hopefully. <laughs> um, a good friend of mine has sent me a set of uh, Fanatec uh, Club Sport pedals. These are V1s, uh, I believe. Um, and they don't appear to work. So um, what we're going to do first is we're going to plug them into the PC. Uh, as you can use them as a standalone pedal set on the PC. Um, plug them in and uh, see what's going on. So uh, yeah, let's get on with that and um, see what we come up with. Right then guys, as you can see I'm um, zoomed in on, well kind of zoomed in, uh, on the bottom right hand corner of the PC screen. So we'll plug the, uh, the USB lead into the pedals and uh, see what happens. Because it's one of, the, um, one of the sockets like what you get off a printer that's on them basically. So let's just see what happens uh, when we plug this in. And then we'll get an idea of what's going on. Ah, right. So uh, we get a, a little error message. If I can twist the camera a bit there. I uh, don't know if you did see that. It basically said USB device not recognised. So there must be some sort of problem with the um, with the USB interface potentially on the pedals. Um, it's not the cable because I've tested the cable on a printer and it works fine. So uh, it's definitely not the cable. So um, let's get the pedals up on the uh, up on the workbench and um, have a look and see if we can see anything obvious. Right then guys, as you can see, we've now got the uh, pedals upside down and this is the uh, the main board on here, well just underneath here, I don't know, you can probably see that. Um, that is the main board uh, to the pedals, which supply, all the pedals uh, go on to this board. Um, now what I've found out is if you look here, where this USB, this is where the USB cable goes in. Now, what I've figured out, if I can get to it, I don't know if I can, uh, that it's actually, there we go, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you can see it's really loose and it looks like somebody's uh, yanked at the cables or something like that. Um, so hopefully that's pretty much the outside of what the problem is. Uh, looking at it, that's quite obvious. Um, and, and me, I can see that it's hanging down on one side, so therefore it won't be making a good contact to the board. Um, so our first job is to get this board undone. Uh, get it off this metal plate that's on the top. It's, it's secured in by four bolts. So we get that board off, off that plate. And uh, and then basically we can have a look and see if the socket's actually damaged or if it just wants reseating. We could be lucky and uh, it could just want reseating uh, back onto the board. If not, if we do need a new socket, they aren't very expensive. Couple of pounds at most, which is obviously for a set of Fanatec pedals is nothing because these pedals are very expensive to buy. Uh, they are proper high-end um, pedals for sim racing, uh, whether it's PC or PlayStation, or uh, I'm not sure if they work on the Xbox One, but um, yeah, they they are proper high-end stuff, and the, and they do they are worth a lot of money. You know, they cost a lot. Um, so if it's only a few pound we've got to spend to get them resurrected and get them working again, then you know that's a good thing. So anyway, um, what we're going to do is. I'm going to grab the Phillips screwdriver first and there is two screws on the top. I don't know if we can, can we get this in? This is the question. Um, I'll just try and raise this up a little bit. And maybe angle the camera down. As you can see, can you see those two screws just there? Yeah. Right, let's uh, take those out. 
don't forget it's always a good idea to have a pot or something like that a dish or or whatever to put all your screws in so that you don't uh, so you don't lose any um, so that's those two out of there now this should allow us to um to to get the whole board out to lift it off and to get another a bit of a better look as well at um exactly you know how bad the socket is um don't know can we get this in view while without adjusting the camera yeah there we go and as you can see there look look at that there is a lot of play in that um so the next thing to do i don't know you can see a screw in that corner there's one in that corner and the same on the other side and that will lift it off this metal plate and then we'll be able to have a look at the exposed uh, pcb and see uh see what um what's occurring you know um how bad the damage is uh, I, I do believe, I mean, looking at this, it looks like the back end of the uh, USB socket is broken as well. So I think it is going to have to be a new socket, uh, to be honest. But we'll get this board off, uh, off this metal plate, and we can get a closer look at it then and um, see what's happening. Um, so let's uh, just get in here with my screwdriver and get these screws out. I know you're not getting a great view, just a view of my arm at the minute. Ah, right, we've got to watch out for the little nuts that come off the bottom of these as we take them out. And it is also seated on rubbers uh, that are in between the metal plate and the board, which is just to, um, to insulate it, basically. Stop it from shorting to the uh, metal. But... Anyway, we'll pick it back up once I've unscrewed this and uh, we can have a look at the underside of the PCB then and, uh, and see what's going on. Okay, we'll be back soon, guys. Right then, guys. Um, as you can see, we've got it all, uh, all off the metal plate. You can see the underside of the PCB here. Uh, looks okay, to be fair. Um, doesn't look like the track's damaged or anything like that, which is a good thing, uh, which is a very good thing. Uh, but however, it does look like the socket uh, has seen better days. If you can, I don't know if you can really see that. Um, can we zoom it in a bit? I don't know, does it go all blurry? Oh, we kind of got it. Um, Let's zoom out a tiny bit so it gets a bit better. That's a bit better. Right. Um, it is looking like a new socket because when you look here, um, the back of it is just falling to pieces. Um, so, basically, the socket, if you look there a lot, you can see it's just... That shouldn't be off like that. Um, the socket is damaged... Oh, knocking the camera. Uh, the socket is damaged, so it does need a new one. Unfortunately, we can't just get away with soldering it back up, which uh, is a shame. But, you know, so um, <clears throat> basically what we need to do is uh, get another socket. Like I say, if you're in the UK, uh, you can pick them up from Maplins for about £2. Uh, they're, not, they're not massively expensive. Um, so... What I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to uh, get one um, and then we'll go about taking this socket out and uh, fitting the new one. So uh, I'll pick it back up once I've got a new socket because I ain't actually got one today. Uh, so I'll pick this video up um, in, in the coming days, obviously. But um, yeah, we'll, um, once we've got another socket to put in, We'll get this one out and uh, and crack on with it. So uh, obviously you won't have to wait, uh, but I do. Okay, we'll uh, we'll 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 leave it there then, guys, and um, and uh, continue uh, with the next step. Right, guys, um, I've now got the uh, brand new um, USB B socket. 
Uh, if you can really see that, yeah, you can. Um, ready to go on the board. So we'll just put that to one side. Um, the uh, As you can see, uh, the board is quite tightly hung with all the cables. So the first thing I'm going to do is to map out a map on my little bit of paper I've got here. Um, of all the... Um, where all the pedals go and everything so I can unplug all the cables so I can get it in the vice and work on it a lot easier uh, that's always a good idea when you're doing anything like this so uh, if we look here you can see we've got one two three cables here which go to each of the pedals the furthest to the right uh, I don't know if you can really let's have a look see if we can get in a bit closer if the camera will allow it, will that focus still? Yeah, that, well, roughly. As you can see, we've got these three here. So basically, the first one uh, goes all the way up here and goes into the accelerator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw um, a very crude and rough drawing on my bit of paper. I'll show you it when I've done it. Um, which, like I say, is going to be very crude. Uh, it doesn't need to be very accurate at all. It's just so you know what cables uh, go where, uh, basically. Um, you know, that's basically all it's for. So I'm just, uh, I'm just currently drawing that out with a load of squares. Like I say, it doesn't have to be very accurate or anything like that. It's very crude and basic. Uh, can you see that? Uh, as you can see, these four uh, along the top row um, correspond to the four sockets. This is the USB-B socket. That's the other one that goes to the uh, Fanatec wheel, um, I believe. <laughs> uh, and then we've got another socket here at the bottom, uh, then another one here. Um, so basically, like we said, that first one, um, went um, was to the accelerator so if we just write accelerator on there so the second one along if we trace that that one's the brake that one's brake and that means this one should be clutch uh, yeah which it is so that one's clutch Right, <clears throat> so the one in the middle uh, that goes to that goes to the control, uh, the VR control. I guess that's for the amount of vibration. So we'll just put VR control, and then the very bottom one. Um, goes to let's have a look ah that goes to the vibration motor so we'll just write motor next to that one so like I say um, very crude drawing but it doesn't really matter um, I don't know if you can really see that but very crude it just basically tells me where everything is so you just need to put that to one side and then basically unplug all the cables um, off the board so we can get it in the vice so I'll uh, I'll um, I'll get those unplugged and we'll pick the video back up once I've got the board into the vice right guys as you can see I've now got it in uh, clamped down into the vice these two points here are the earth points the bigger ones so we're going to use um, a solder sucker to desolder those um, or an aspirator is the proper technical term uh, for the four smaller pins we're going to use uh, a bit of desoldering braid because um, because they are a lot more delicate and and if I use the uh, solder sucker or aspirator on those it's probably going to strip uh, the track from the board it's probably going to ruin those points which obviously we don't want to do so um, let's uh, let's get on with this and try and get these bigger ones unsoldered 
Um, hopefully. I say hopefully because, oh, they're, they're not too bad at all. That's coming off lovely. I believe that that may be okay now. Not quite. But we may finish that off with a bit of desoldering break, guys. Um, right, let's do this side. At least we've got the majority off. Um, Like I say, we could get a bit of desoldering braid to uh, to do the rest. Oh, made a mess of that. Like I say, we use a bit of desoldering braid to clean those up. Then, um, we might actually, if I pull this out of the vise might actually find that that is actually uh, no no not quite see the, the the socket is broken on both sides now the earth point um because i've been pulling it about but uh now what we're going to have to do is put that back in the vise and uh Use a bit of desoldering braid, I think. Now we'll need um, quite heavy duty stuff for this because you can get different thickness of wire. This is two millimeter thick stuff, um, and hopefully, this will do the job. I mean, this is the thickest stuff that I've got, so hopefully, we'll be uh, you know, it'll be okay. So basically just stick the iron on top, heat it up and you'll be able to feel the heat going through the uh, through the wire if you're touching it. <laughs> so just mind your fingers. Um, basically just heat it up and then lift and it should lift the solder off. Um, it is struggling a bit with, uh, with these points because there's a lot of solder to lift. I think that's why. You'll see smoke also when uh, when it's starting to get hot enough to lift it. I don't know if that's. Uh, let's just try. Ah. Now we've got a hole through there, so that one's fine. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing, but I think you can. I hope you can. And obviously, if the pins were still connect connected, it, you wouldn't have to do it like this. But you can clean them up with desoldering braid uh, once once you've got your hole in it. Let's see if those two bits have come out of there yet now you see that one that side has I believe oh, maybe it hasn't But yeah, basically, if you, if we just um, just keep going at it till the pins come out, basically, let's have another go with the socks.
Well, the best way for me personally at this point, I think, is to uh, is to heat it up and pull it from the other side because uh, these have been quite stubborn. The, the other four pins will be a lot easier to come out, to be honest. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I mean, if you're in the same position, then obviously you'll have to do it the same. But it's best to um, put it on its side, heat it one side. You see, that's uh, soldered that to the back to the pin. <laughs> But it hasn't that side. <clears throat> yeah, I think the best best plan of attack here is, uh, like I say, to get a pair of pliers one side to pull it as you heat it, and then it'll just it'll just bring what's left of the pin straight through. Um, so I'll do that, guys, and uh, then I'll pick it up back up once I've done that. Right, guys, as you can see, I've got uh, both of these desoldered. Uh, so the socket is actually hanging down now underneath. Uh, I know you can't quite see that. So uh, next job is to uh, is to attack these. Um, so we're doing one at a time, and may need a bit thinner desoldering braid for this job. Uh, that is the same width, so that one's no good. Uh, this is one mil stuff that I've got here. Like I say, you can buy all different. Um, all different thicknesses of desoldering braid. It's just with these being a bit of a smaller, smaller pin, then uh, you know I'd rather use a bit thinner stuff. And also, it'll heat up quicker. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to use the thicker stuff. Actually, the, go back to the two mil because I think that'll be okay on it. Actually, looking at it. Yeah, that. That looks okay. Oh, I'm reaching round here, knocking the camera. But hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing. And there we go, that's I don't know if you can really see that. Yes, you can. I'm sure you can. But you can see here. I've uh, I've now done that one because um, you can see the solder's all gone, uh, unlike this one, this one, and this one. So basically, do the same for all four, and just keep going with the desoldering braid till the socket actually comes out, and uh, and then and then just clean clean them up so there's a nice clean hole for your pins to go through of your new socket. So uh, yeah, basically just repeat the step I've just done for that one. Uh, and I'll pick it up once I've done that. Okay, guys. Right then, guys. <laughs> After much, um, much, much uh, um, effort, I managed to uh, get the so get the new socket seated in. Uh, they do fit quite tight uh, in. Um, basically, what I had to do because I found out that there was solder both sides. Uh, I did manage to get the other socket out reasonably easy, but I think that's because it was in such poor shape. Um, and what I ended up doing was heating up this side of the board while I had this solid piece of wire just here. You can see that. It's a solid solid piece of wire on the end. Uh, not frayed. And I, I, I heated this side of the board and pushed that through from the other side to make a clean hole so that's basically what I did and I've just basically pushed the socket in uh, if the camera will focus on that very well but uh, I haven't actually sold it back up and I also figured out that the point of contact is actually on this side of the board um, so as long as the contacts this side are okay uh, oops, sorry this side of the board are okay then you'll be fine so uh, let's get it back in the vise and uh, we'll get it soldered up um, and I also need to change the camera battery so uh, yeah I'll uh, pick it back up uh, once I've done that right guys that's the new battery in my camera anyway right let's get these uh, soldered back up um, and, uh, and then we'll get it connected back to the pedal set and give it a whirl and see what happens. 
uh, hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be all good to go. Uh, hopefully. Right, let's get the bigger one soldered up first. That's that one done. Da, da, da. And now for the four little ones. It's one, two. Three, I know you probably can't see this very well guys, actual fact I'll just bring the iron the other side for this final one. Oh, that's me real solder going on the floor. And there's the fourth one, that's those all soldered back up. Um, we'll take this off here, so you can have a have a bit of a closer look. Not the neatest, tidiest job. Not saying I'm the best solderer in the world, but uh, it should suffice and do the job. The only thing I would say is to snip the end of that one, maybe uh, the top earth point, because uh, I don't know if you can really see, but uh, I don't know if you can make that out, but. Uh, the same on the other side as well, just snip those down or file them down um, just to make sure it's not earthing on anything or anything like that. It shouldn't be, but, uh, you know, don't hurt to make sure. Um, right, what we'll do is, we'll, we'll, um, I'll, I'll snip those down, uh, we'll get it all plugged back in and, um, and see what happens, see if, we're, uh, if, if we've repaired them. Uh, okay guys, so we'll pick it back up once I've um, plugged in all the cables and uh, we're about to plug it into the computer. I'll pick it back up there. <coughs> right then guys, uh, I've now got all the cables plugged back in as per the diagram that we made earlier on. Um, so that's all done. So I've now got the USB cable plugged into the pedal set. And hopefully, when we plug it into the computer, it'll all be good to go. Hopefully. Let's have a look. Installing device driver software. Click here for status. That's looking good so far. Uh, let's just click. Click there for status. And there we go. It's, it's now reporting. Uh, if I scroll it up, ex excuse me having YouTube open. If we look there, it says Club Sport Pedals. Searching Windows Update. Ready to use. So we have fully repaired the Club Sport Pedals. They are now, uh, now working just fine, hopefully. Let's uh, just have a quick look in in-game controllers and uh, see if the pedals are actually functioning properly. Um, if we go to control panel, uh, no we don't go to control panel, <laughs> uh, devices and printers, should be in here, uh, club sport pedals, there we go, uh, game controller settings, I'll just go into all this, I'm sure you already know how to do this, uh, but let's have a look, and there we can see. That one's working. That's the clutch, but I don't know if the brake's actually functioning. I believe we have another fault with these pedals, guys, um, which I will have a bit more of a look at, but at least we've fixed that problem. Uh, so I will do a separate video on, on why the brake pedal is not functioning, but hopefully we can, we can sort that out, not a problem. Uh, I think we've done the hardest job. But anyway, um, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, many thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, like, subscribe and comment. Okay guys, catch you next time.